Well, the southern U.S. continues to get hit by severe weather. And, of course, today we're going to have another severe threat with large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes. Along with that comes some heavy rain and uh, flooding potential. We have a number of flash flood watches issued across the southern U.S. And then it does look to be a little cooler mid-month across much of the central U.S. Well, it was another active day yesterday from southern Kansas into west Texas. All the red dots you see indicate the tornado reports, a lot of hail reports in blue and even and wind damage reports. And there is the culprit. Again, it's this counterclockwise swirl moving out of the Four Corners region. On the eastern flank of that, it is warm enough and uh, humid enough to continue these showers and thunderstorms. The big bright blue colors indicate the convective nature to these thunderstorms that uh, again erupted yesterday. And the line of thunderstorms continues throughout the day, kind of shifts east, rolling into parts of the lower Mississippi Valley, central and east Texas. We're going to see more thunderstorms develop as we get into our Thursday and the heavy rainfall potential is certainly there of five, maybe seven inches over the next five days in those areas. But just over the next three days, we're looking at the potential of maybe uh, four to five plus inches under the Houston Galveston region. Again, a number of flood watches have been issued. And, and again, the severe threat today is at an enhanced risk. Tomorrow, it's a slight risk and then down to a marginal threat on Friday. But temperatures out ahead of this storm in the southeast are pretty warm.